Welcome to the weekend edition of USA Today. We're starting off with a wild and crazy guy and a bunch of pint-sized show-offs who are getting big laughs out of a household word. And that word is parenthood, and the new movie by that name opened across the USA on Wednesday. It's directed by Ron Howard, who knows a thing or two about being a parent, not to mention being a kid in front of the cameras. So for him, this kind of film was just child's play. Parenthood is a slapstick ride through the age-old problems of trying to raise children. My character is more confused than seeing all these other you know, ways of raising kids and doesn't know quite what to do. And I think that's more the typical response to raising kids. The all-star cast of parents include Steve Martin, Mary Steenburgen, Jason Robards, Diane Wiest, and Rick Moranis. The fictional misadventures of parenthood were born in part from the all-too-real experiences of director Ron Howard. In your own life, you start looking for the comedy in, uh, in situations. So, uh, you know, dirty, do dirty diapers and, and, uh, and back talk from your kids suddenly it becomes uh, uh, a possible joke. <laughs> There's something funny in here. Let me, let me see what it is and we'll use it. It's the first time I've ever been directed by a director with a, a baby on his hip and you know and I like it. Most of the cast and crew are parents themselves so how does the movie stack up to reality? The comedy tragedy uh, unleashed hysteria every day within a few minutes you go through all those things and uh, making parenthood was just a natural extension of home except that Steve Martin's not at our house all the time. <laughs> Hey, what do you say later? I wear this outfit. Rick Moranis says he's going to make sure he never turns into the pushy, overachieving father he plays in the movie. I think what I'll try and do is just be honest with them and be encouraging and try and build their self-confidence and self-esteem and um, try and be their friends. Could you just give your father that little extra effort he's looking for? Okay, Mama. Actress and real parent Diane Weist worries that children in the 90s have a lot more obstacles to face. Oh, when I was their age, there, there weren't these enormous problems. Um, the world's a lot more complicated. Um, you weren't worrying about drugs in high school and all this stuff, you know? Parents are really spending more and more sort of that quality time with their kids and are almost making a, um, a study out of it. You know, the question of this movie is, you know, is the pleasure of raising children uh, greater than the pain? And, uh, and in this movie, the answer is yes. Happy birthday, kiddo. Dad? When I grow up, can I work where you work? Why? That way, we can still see each other every day. I love you. I love you Does it surprise you this movie's getting rave reviews? We do know that for the first time, though, Ron Howard allowed one of his children to appear on screen in this movie. Eight-year-old Bryce Howard plays her film debut as an extra in a school scene. The Miami Sound Machine's latest album has been out just over two weeks, and the single, Don't Want to Lose You, is already in the top ten and moving up fast. That's nothing new for the lead singer-songwriter Gloria Stefan and the group whose relentless Latin percussions propel them to the height of the music world. The beauty and her beat have congoed their way into the mainstream, and as one of their songs says, the rhythm is gonna get you.